fasten your seat belts as we are now driving on the highway in this lecture we will work on the footage images video recording and all the stuff we have gathered to create a 60 second video please open your adobe premiere i am using adobe premiere cs6 step 1 first click on the new project enter the name of your project and hit okay here click on the settings tab select custom from the editing mode then enter the frame size 1920 horizontal and 1080 vertical set the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels 1.0 keep the other settings as they are and hit okay step 2 we will call the thumbnail which we created in adobe photoshop step 3 we will call all the footage and images in the software you can import all the footage and images by right click and select import step 4 now we will add background music to the video we will crop the music according to the requirement it is recommended to sync the image and footage to the beat of the music step 5 now we will arrange the footage and images according to our script step 6 after finish putting up the images and footage and background music we will animate the still images we will animate the still images by scaling up or down moving images down to up just like this how to animate still images every image or footage has some properties with them you can find them on the left side of the screen for example we will create zoom in effect on this image we will click on the stopwatch button next to scale adobe premiere will mark the current scale value as initial keyframe then i will move and here i will change the value of scale the system will automatically mark the current scale value as another keyframe or the final keyframe another example we will animate the position of this image we will click on the stopwatch to let software mark the initial keyframe we will move forward and change the value of position the system will automatically note the change in value and mark the keyframe as final keyframe you can add multiple keyframes the way you want to animate an image i have animated all the still images i used in my project
step 6 i have used glitch transition in my project to beautify the video you can download the glitch transition from motionarea.com you can find the link in resource section of the lecture in the video transition menu click on the glitch folder you can find various glitch transitions drag and drop the glitch transition on your image that's how it does in the end we will add the closing animation and logo throughout the screen we have created the closing animation in after effects We will place the logo on upper left corner of the screen. We have scaled down the logo and reposition it to do that. You are free to place your logo anywhere on the screen. Step 7. We are almost done. Let me fade out the music in the end of the video. As we click on the audio layer, you can find the keyframe option on the left side of the screen. Click on the keyframe icon to add a keyframe on the current position. Now. We will move to the end. Click on the keyframe icon again and then lower it down. This way the music will fade out. The sequence is now the title, then footage of the glorious Statue of Liberty with free use attribute which is very important to avoid copyright infringement. Then images of the making of the statue, Then present era images, and finally the closing animation. We are done for now. Perfect. I am sure you are able to do all the above things in making the 60 second viral video. Please do not hesitate to ask anything in Q&A section. I will be happy to assist you. In next section, we will learn how to make and use amazing closed caption or overlay text animation in our next stop of software, Adobe After Effects.